Here's what you need to understand, all right? It's not about getting Eleanor to like you. It's about getting her to respect you, all right? Right now, she just thinks you're some, like, undeserving, clueless, gold-digging... Yeah, okay, I got it. ...trashy, unrefined banana. Yellow on the outside, or white on the inside. That is actor, comedian, and rapper Aquafina in a scene from last year's hit movie Crazy Rich Asians, which made nearly a quarter of a billion dollars at the box office. The New York City born and raised Aquafina, whose given name is Nora Lum, has been on quite a ride over the last year or so. In addition to the high energy comedy she lent to Crazy Rich Asians, she starred last summer in Ocean's 8, alongside the likes of Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, and Rihanna. The in-demand actor has a busy movie schedule lined up, including her latest called The Farewell, where she's drawing critical raves for playing a dramatic role that hits close to home. Aquafina and I got together this week here in New York for a Sunday sit-down. So first things first, we just met. Yes. So what do I call you? Do I call you Aquafina? Or how does this work? Um, you know, it's really, it's really like based on how you feel. Really? Some people like will take the reins, you know. Mm -hmm. Call me Nora. I call you Willie. Thirty-one-year-old Nora Lump created her stage name and alter ego Aquafina in high school as a way for a shy teenager to build confidence. That strategy seems to have worked. Should I, I look, think... at, look into this camera the whole time? Yeah. Okay. If great. you could just, I'll speak to the side of your head. The Queens, New York native attended the prestigious LaGuardia High School of Music and Performing Arts on the strength of her talent with a trumpet. But then she found hip hop. I discovered digital music and, and I started making beats like, like obsessively and I needed vocals on them. So there was born, you know, Aquafina. Yeah. And how did you pick the name Aquafina? I thought it was a fun name. Yeah. You know, it means fine water. That's good. That works. That's good. You flow like fine water. Sure. Right? There you go. Okay. Uh, thank you. We saved it. Yeah. Imagine if you <laughs> didn't. <laughs> you Imagine if, that. like, I said, you said that and I was like... <laughs> In 2012, the 24-year-old aspiring rapper posted a raunchy but catchy song to YouTube. It's time, yeah, that we let the world know. It quickly caught fire online. Aquafina's a genius. But the viral video, which has more than 4 million views today, did not impress Aquafina's bosses. I work as a publicist. Yeah, right. And they weren't into the song and <laughs> I the didn't video. know what publicity meant. <laughs> um, lost that job. She may have lost her 9 to 5, but she launched her career. Everything comes back to that, right? Like, my first movie like neighbors too i gave him five stars on yelp you have chips in your hair yeah seth rogan and nick stoller saw that video and, and asked me to audition from there like mm. that was the moment yeah, yeah. since then aquafina the viral star has become a bona fide movie star with scene stealing roles in two of last year's biggest movies oceans eight don't sleep because she might disappear Friday. and crazy rich asians these people are so posh and snobby they're snotty. Then, last fall, Aquafina became only the second Asian American woman ever to host Saturday Night Live. Standing here tonight is a dream I never thought would come true. Have you had time to stop and breathe and look back on what just happened over the last year? N not really, no. Yeah. It's been busy, but you know what? I spent a, a lot of my career sitting you know not not too far away from here just in, an, in a really bad apartment just like wondering what's going to happen what was it like to be on a poster for example of oceans eight with sandra bullock and rihanna and kate blanchett and people like that and to have people come out of that movie and say great cast but man she's funny keep oh, your eye man. on her confusing for me i mean <laughs> shocking yeah yeah because uh I, I couldn't believe i think i was i was in that bed same bedroom that i was just talking about probably not wearing pants just walking around <laughs> drinking a la croix and i get a call that's like you, this is gonna happen i, I was like what now so only two months after that here comes crazy rich asians which yeah. turns into this worldwide phenomenon it's already one of those movies, if it's on HBO, you just stop and watch it, wherever oh, it is. Oh, it's an easy watch. It's it my plane it's movie, a, dude. It's, it, it's your... Oh, I'll, I'll play it. I'm, it's embarrassing, too, <laughs> when people realize what I'm doing on the plane. Are you like, That's No, me? but there was a period where Ocean's 8 and Crazy Rotations were on the plane. I would go up to people, and I'd be like, eh? 
out of the 10 people I went, only one person put together that I was that girl. <laughs> they thought I was a crazy yeah. person. I was like, yeah, Asian girl, I'm Asian, <laughs> get it? But there was one woman that watched Ocean's 8 and Crazy Rich Asians, oh one after the, and I went, no idea. She had no, no idea. She was like, okay. <laughs> she, did the, she did that to me. And I was like, okay. So this energy and sense of humor. Okay. I'm interested in the origin of it. Where I derived joy from was like joy from others. That's mm. that's what I run on. And I think that, that that really did start like, you know, after lo losing my mom, you know, it, it was a way for me to make things light. Aquafina was just four years old when her mother died of pulmonary hypertension. Her grandmother, who Aquafina calls her best friend, stepped in. My grandma was everything. She she did save me, you know. She taught me to be strong. She was a, a gift in every way. The affectionately nicknamed Grandma Fina has made cameos in music videos, fully supporting her granddaughter's edgy brand of humor. She's a funny woman. Man, no joke was ever too dirty for her. Grandma also inspired Aquafina to take her latest role in The Farewell. What's wrong, Dad? Please tell me. The man is dying. She doesn't know, so you can't say anything. The dramatic lead is a departure for the comedian, who was drawn to the movie by its reminders of her own relationship with her grandma. It just already seemed auspicious, and you know, I read through it and, you know, crying at the script. In the film, based on a true story, Aquafina plays Billy, whose beloved grandmother, or Nai Nai in Chinese, has terminal cancer but is kept in the dark about her prognosis. It's a very quizzical thing for someone from like a Western upbringing to like not tell someone they're sick. And so she goes to China, they stage a fake wedding, still not telling the grandma. As an actress, I had to confront something that I think that I have been really not wanting to confront, which is the, the, the idea of losing my grandma. You talk so eloquently about representation and making not just your family proud, but an entire community of, of people proud. Sure. It's something that not a lot of gr other groups have to do. I have to make sure that I set a good example for that. And the stories that I tell reflect them well. Mm. And, and that's very important to me. So with all that in mind, what does your grandma say? What does your father say? I mean, they're, they're, they're proud, yeah. Grandmas, I mean, I, I compare them to drug dealers. They're food pushers. <laughs> That's what they that's what they do. They're like, I got something that you want. And the question is, do you want it? You know what I mean? I love your grandmother. I don't even know her. I would love I mean, to you should meet her sometime. She would love you. Yeah, she's gotta join us. She would be attracted to you. Like this. <laughs> I hate to say it. She would be like, hey, you wanna some tea? Stay for a minute. <laughs> I would love to meet Grandma Fina. The Farewell is in theaters now. Later this year, Aquafina will be in the second Angry Birds movie. And Jumanji, The Next Level. She's also working on a self-titled new show for Comedy Central. She is a busy woman. Our thanks to Philippe by Philippe Chow Uptown here in New York for hosting that conversation. To watch Aquafina and me share her favorite dumplings while we talk about the long list of odd jobs she held before she was an actor, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Aquafina. As you can tell, it's a fun one. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.